Hey guys, Alex from Mixtank here today and I've got something really cool to show you if you don't know how to do it already in Ableton and that's how to reverse audio. Now this is cool for so many different things, you could do it with your kicks, you could do it with your claps, you can add so much more detail and ambience to your drums and it also works really cool on pianos and bass lines, so let's get stuck in. Okay, so in our project window here we've got a little beat that I've started just for this example, so let's check it out. Now we can switch this up and make this a little bit more interesting by reversing some of the notes. So let's just go to this little section here, let's try reverse this note there. Double click on the audio, select that piece and simply go down to the bottom and just click reverse. It's as easy as that. Now you can do this on all sorts of things, so let's check out what that sounds like. Little things like that make a big difference in your record and add a little bit more detail. And we could try this with some of the drums as well. So let's take a look at this. So let's go, let's find a clap. So what we can do here is if we create a new channel, just by pressing Command and D, we can duplicate the channel we have above. Just get rid of that audio. Let's choose the clap. Let's press Option and drag that down. Double click on it and click Reverse. And then what we can do is move that just before the clap and check this one out. Turn that down a bit. Put another one there. And you can really add some cool detail to things by just doing something simple, just by reversing bits of audio. So let's play the whole thing back. And there you have it. That's how you make things detailed by reversing bits of audio and it gives your tracks so much more depth. Give that one a try.